Uh, well, you know, the, the, this movie was really just made for fans of movies, not just Star Trek fans. Um, and because I really wasn't a fan myself of Star Trek, it was important that we make a movie that allowed people to find a way in. You didn't have to know anything. This movie is not made for anyone. You don't have to see anything beforehand. There's no experience necessary to get involved in this movie. Um, and we had a wonderful time when we were here last time. Uh, it was such a, a wonderful and, and warm reception that being back is a, a really heartening and, and, uh, and wonderful thing. All I know is that whenever we have an opportunity to come to Sydney, uh, we take it. So uh, this is something that is, it's no accident that we're here. We the Star Trek, see it, and feel like, oh, they're honoring the thing that I know and love. But that's because we had the, you know, the writers of this movie really know Star Trek very well and were able to sort of help me figure out what pieces we should include. But I was going at it from a vantage point of more from the outside, not someone who got all the inside jokes and understood it all. I had to sort of appreciate it. So it's one of those things where if you're a fan, it'll be a little bit additive, but you don't have to be to get some of the references that are being made in the film. But uh, I do feel that the, the, the performers in this film, the actors, they're so wonderful. Um, and I think that the, the guys did a great job with the script. So I'm really excited about people seeing this movie. Um, the only one who's really annoying was Carl Urban doing uh, their job. So we're very lucky to have a great group of actors. Benedict Cumberbatch is a, uh, one of the best actors ever. <laughs> I mean, seriously, he's a, well, he is an amazing, amazing actor and a terrific guy.